you a UGC net aspirant who panics when he sees the watch going tick tock tick tock in the exam hall? Have you prepared yourself thoroughly for UGC net exam but haven't really given it a thought about how to manage your time well in the exam hall? If yes, this video is for you. Hello friends, my name is Arpita Karva and you are on your favorite channel where you find videos on UGC net exam preparation. As UGC net exam is right around the corner, today I'm going to tell you a secret code about how to manage your time like a pro. But before we start, if you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and do not forget to like this video. Over the years, I've heard a lot of students telling me that their preparation was rock solid, but they couldn't complete all the questions in the exam hall because of the time crunch. Well, I would like to say here that real issue is not time that is less, but the real challenge is that you have never tried to manage that time effectively. Friends, time management is a skill that the paper setter is testing you on. No one tells you this. You won't find this fact in any reference book, but look at the reality. If the time was more, a lot of students would be able to crack this exam. But that's not the truth. What sets you apart from the other aspirants is your time management skills. Your watch is going to be your best friend when you are appearing for UGC net exam. And how well you adhere to it may become a deciding factor to your result. So tell you, without any much ado, let me give you the cheat code to manage time. The cheat code is hidden in the word track time. Friends, this is a mnemonic track time and every letter of track time stands for the tip that I am going to tell you in detail. The first word is T which stands for track time. Friends, as soon as you start appearing for your mocks, put your watch in front of you and keep a tab on time. Let's say for example, the exam is of one hour and you have 40 questions. You get 1.5 minutes on average to answer each question. This includes the reading time and the time you will take to mark the answer. So make sure that you have a tab on time. I have observed that many aspirants are very chilled out during the first 15-20 minutes of the exam. They will be reading questions like a sloth bear. And when reality strikes, they panic so much that it often results in making a lot of silly mistakes. Bilkul simple funda hai. Every second counts. And therefore, you have to be attentive from the very minute your exam time starts so that you can complete the paper in time without panicking and with full concentration. Friends, now we move on to the second point that is R. Track time mein R tha, that R we are talking about. R stands for read instructions carefully. A lot of aspirants think that all these competitive exams have the same instruction. So why read it? But friends, that's not the case. All exams have different set of instructions. Also, you must understand that in every exam, there is a separate time that is given to students to go through that instruction sheet. So when that instruction sheet is handed over to you or you see those instructions on the computer screen, why daydream? Instead, utilize the time carefully reading the instructions. It would hurt you a lot if your exam sheet is cancelled just because you made a silly mistake on account of not reading the instructions properly. Coming on to the next tip. Friends, A in track time stands for attempt order. I have made a separate video on how to attempt the questions. In short, you don't have to solve the questions in the sequence it is displayed on the screen. Instead, always start with the questions that you are 100% sure of. This will boost your confidence and calm your brain to steadily proceed forward. Then you have to come to the questions that you are doubtful about. You can use elimination method which entails paying KBC with yourself and removing two wrong options from the four options. This will increase your probability of answering the question correctly to 50%. And finally, when you have finished solving all such questions, you start using your brain to solve questions which you have no clue about. So that should be the attempt order. Friends, the next tip is super important. C in the track time stands for checking the questions twice. These paper setters are very, very smart people. And they are also very chalu. They just don't want to judge your command over the subject, but they would also want to check your presence of mind. Sometimes you will feel that, wow, this is a very easy question. 
and you may end up taking the wrong answer in over excitement or hurry. Therefore, it is always advisable to read every question properly and I would rather say read it twice. If you know an answer, don't get over excited or overconfident. Keep calm. Sometimes uh, you might find that there's a question which will ask you to choose who amongst the following has not been the Prime Minister of India. And you were so overconfident that you got extremely excited and you just saw the options and ticked on Narendra Modi. But you did not realize that the question said that who amongst the following did not become the Prime Minister of India. So just like that, if you want to avoid these mistakes, always read the question twice. Friends, the next step is keeping your things organized. You will enter your exam hall with only a bunch of stuff, including your Aadhaar card, admit card, stationery and a water bottle. Be very cognizant of your things. Keep them with you at all the times. Don't stay absent-minded. I have seen a lot of students who forget their Aadhaar card or admit card at home and then they rush back eventually getting late for the exam. It inherently makes you anxious, increases your blood pressure and is not good for your pre-exam morale. Your stuff should be sorted on the night before the exam so that you remain calm and composed on the day of the exam. Friends, the next tip is tackling every question. The best part about UGC net exam is that there is no negative marking, which means that irrespective of whether you know an answer or not, you should attempt all the questions. Friends, if you don't attempt a question, your probability of getting marks for that question is zero. But if you attempt this question, even if you don't know it, your probability automatically increases to 25%, which is a huge jump from 0%. So make sure that you don't skip questions. You mark answers even if you're not sure. Also to decrease the number of questions that make you cry in the exam, check out arpatakarva.com. We have recently released a special mock test series for UGC net English aspirant. This mock test series contains 75 mock tests, which will give you a lot of questions to prepare for and which will make your preparation very strong. If you haven't prepared for paper one yet, then you can also join UGC net paper one courses that are available on our website. And these courses will help you get those extra marks in the exam. Friends, moving on to the next tip in track time series, you have ignore your surroundings. At the exam center, there will be many things happening around you. Your co-aspirants might be talking or the fan might be making some weird noises or the invigilator might be talking too loud or XYZ things might be happening around you which makes it very difficult for you to concentrate. I know it's better said than done but you have to have to train yourself to ignore such things. Your primary focus should be on your computer screen. For those three hours, it should just be you and your question paper. And that's all. These distractions can cost you so much that you will not be able to focus on the UGC net exam paper for which you have put in so much efforts. The next pro tip is to minimize the breaks. A lot of people when they get anxious or in the exam room will run to the loo. But like I said, every minute counts. Every second counts, I would say. Make sure that your bladder is empty before you enter the exam hall. Keep yourself hydrated, keep sipping water, but not too much that you have to run towards the loo again and again. Ensure that those three hours you don't take any breaks as these breaks will ruin your concentration. Understand that you need 100% dedication and focus to ace this competitive exam. And that can happen only when you plan things in advance. Friends, the final tip is to energize yourself. Now you will ask, Arpita, how do we energize ourselves in the exam room? You can do that by practicing deep breathing. Whenever you feel you are losing it, whenever you feel that questions in the exam paper are not making sense to you, try doing deep breathing for just 30 seconds. In the state of panic, your brain needs the most oxygen. And I have been saying this in almost all my study tips video that you have to breathe to let your brain soak in the oxygen it needs and perform at the best of its ability. You won't believe how magically deep breathing can help you get back to the normal mode. I would even recommend that 
you do deep breathing right before the paper begins so that you embrace the question paper with a calm and peaceful mindset and friends with this we have reached to the end of the video wherein i gave you some very important study tips using the mnemonics track time now with that note i would like to take your leave please let me know if you want me to make any more videos on any new topic that i haven't covered already and i'll be extremely glad to come up with these videos very soon and also you can ping me on whatsapp if you have any specific doubts and i'll be more than happy to resolve them for you if you are looking for quick revision strategies then please visit my instagram page today you will find bunch of reels wherein i'm helping students to revise important topics in less than a minute if you found value in this video please hit the like button and also share it with friends who might be struggling to manage time in ugc net exam this is the time to implement the lesson taught by all our mothers sharing is caring so that's it from my side for this video lecture i'll see you very soon with another insightful and power packed video for exam preparation till then keep studying hard keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com